Hey, thanks for checking out this demo of Kissmetrics. Kissmetrics was started in 2008, and we are an analytics and conversion platform that empowers you to make data-informed decisions so you can grow your business. Uh, our goal is to help marketers make better decisions with the data they collect on their online real estate, so whether that's your website or your mobile app, and we provide a series of reports and tools that help you not only understand what's going on, but also increase conversions, reduce churn, and increase revenue for all your campaigns. So what makes Kissmetrics extremely unique is that we are a person-based analytics tool. So unlike Google Analytics and other session-based or page view-based tools, all the information we collect from your website or from your app gets tied back to an actual person. So for every single person that ever visits your site or installs your app, we start collecting data against that person. And then we can look all the way back to the beginning of time to see where this person originally came from, how many different products they've looked at, uh, every different plan they've been on, uh, every single piece of content they've consumed. So we never delete that information, we never override anything. So for every single person, we have basically a complete record of their customer journey uh, within you know, your digital footprint, whether that's your website or your app. So we have two products within Kissmetrics. Analyze is our uh, customer analytics platform that is built around helping you understand what's actually working, what's not working within your website and your app, uh, diving into individual campaigns, looking at granular user behavior. And Engage is our conversion rate optimization tool that helps you actually interact and respond to customers in real time on your website to prompt conversion, to nudge people through your funnel, and just to generally communicate with people on your website. So the most commonly used report in Kissmetrics is our funnel report. This is really the bread and butter of Kissmetrics. Uh, you might be familiar with funnels. The really cool thing about the funnel inside of Kissmetrics though is that it's all the people that move from step to step. So every single column is actually the number of people. So it's not sessions or page views or something that you can't really relate to. So at the end of the day, this is saying that we had 174 people eventually sign up. So since we have that person-based data, we can actually find out exactly who did and who did not make it all the way through the funnel. So at any point we had we could actually find the people that didn't make it all the way to signed up. So maybe they got to the site, they viewed the sign up page, but they didn't actually sign up. We could find all those people or we could just get the list of people that actually signed up for this time period. Um, either way we can use that information to uh, enrich our email campaigns or have our sales team reach out to these folks or just keep track of how your website is doing over time. Another really great feature about Kissmetrics is we can segment all of the data we have in all of our reports by what we call properties. And this really allows you to dig in and have that granular view of what's going on. So in this case, we're looking at the refer that actually drove somebody in, trying to find out if that affects somebody actually signing up or not. Uh, so what we see here is that people that came in from LinkedIn actually had a, a pretty incredible conversion rate to signing up. You know, 8% of the people that came in from LinkedIn actually did sign up. Uh, whereas we see it's really low for all of the other refers that we have. So we can do this for any of the properties we have in our account. Uh, Kissmetrics is automatically going to collect a few of these for you. But you can also set up any custom properties you want. Uh, things like plan name, blog post titles, webinar names, products. Um, you know, We're going to collect things automatically like uh, geographic information, uh, city, country. Uh, channel, campaign information. So you can really split up all these reports by basically any segment you want to really understand what's working and what's not. So let's take a look at the people that didn't make it to the signup step. So that viewed the signup page but didn't actually make it to the signup step. So what we can do is this will take us into the people search if we click on view people not in this step. And this will be the list of all the people that didn't actually sign up but had viewed the signup page. Uh, to this we can add more information like we can find out where these people were referred from. Um, we could find out uh, perhaps what uh, campaign these people were on. And we could even see something like how many times these people have been to our homepage or been to our website. So we can add this information to this list and then we can actually take this list and export it. So each one of these is an individual person. If we dive into any one of these people, we can learn about where this person came from originally, uh, all the different activities they've had on our site. Uh, we can look at you know all the different campaigns they've come in from, uh, what different refers this person's had. So this person is a pretty basic person. They've been in from Google, two different Google sites, one time each. They've been on one of our campaigns. 
Uh, they visited once on the web and once from their Android device, and they've seen the homepage variation of B twice. So all they've really done is visited uh, the homepage, viewed the plans page, viewed the sign up page, and we know that this person didn't sign up. So if we want to, we can dive all the way into an individual person, or we can just look at this group of people and see if there's anything unique, uh, you know, see if there's anything that kind of sticks out as far as why these people did not convert or find out you know, the people that did convert, why they did convert. So another really great thing about Kissmetrics is since we have all this great granular information about all your users, we can use that to help you understand what actually leads to revenue and contributes to revenue at your company. So the revenue report is set up to just do exactly that. Display how much revenue your company gets, and we can segment that out by specific properties such as channel, campaign, product, etc. What's also really neat is that we can actually help you calculate churn and lifetime value. So if you just specify whether churn for your business is you know, somebody not paying every 30 days, or somebody doing your cancel event, or some combination of both, uh, we'll actually show you uh, lifetime value and churn for specific channels and campaigns, etc. So the report itself is going to show you revenue revenue over time, uh, how many customers you've won and lost over time, your churn rate over time. So what's great is we can segment the revenue report by any property you have in your account. In this case, I'm looking at Origin, which is just a bit deeper than Channel, and we can see you know exactly how much revenue each Origin contributes, uh, the average revenue per person within that Origin and the lifetime value and churn rate for that origin. So in this case, we see that uh, of all the people that came to us from YouTube, you know, we had 11 customers sign up, but 100% of those customers have actually churned. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, whereas some of the other channels, like people that from Twitter, actually none of those people have churned yet, which is a great sign. So this is how we calculate lifetime value based off of how much revenue that segment has contributed and then dividing that by the number of people that have churned. So like I said, any property you have within your account, you can segment this report by. We can look at various campaigns. Um, you know, if you're running different email campaigns and search campaigns, this is a great way to understand you know, what of those campaigns you're actually running has an effect on people signing up. Uh, so in this case, this ad roll campaign we ran has an extremely high revenue per person. Looks like it's contributed the bulk of our total revenue and it has the highest lifetime value. So of all the campaigns we're running, this is actually performing the best even though it has a ridiculously high churn rate, it's still doing better than all the other initial campaigns we're running. So another great feature is Engage. Engage is a tool to help you get more conversions on your website. And the idea is that we want to give you a way to display information to a very targeted set of people on your site in real time to help them get over a hurdle or move them through the funnel you know, right before they're about to convert or when they get stuck somewhere on your website. So you can do that with one of the five styles we have here. Uh, there's five different styles and these really apply to kind of five different use cases and it relates back to how you want to interact with your customers on your site. Uh, so something like a light box or a pop-up are going to be much more of a screen takeover and these really help prevent people from leaving your site if you've almost lost them. Uh, a bumper or notification is a much gentler kind of more of a prompt or a nudge uh, you've seen these for like content recommendation on news sites uh, or, you know, could be offering a discount or recommending some piece of content on your blog. And then the bar can be used for anything from, you know, welcoming a new visitor to the site or displaying an offer, um, you know, promoting some discount or piece of content, anything like that. So the whole idea behind Engage is that we want to help you get more conversions. So you simply just have to tell us what that conversion is for you. It can either be a specific URL somebody goes to or you can use any one of the Kissmetrics events you already have tagged. From there, you're gonna choose how the engagement's actually displayed. So we can, based off of three different triggers, show up for your visitors. So either after the page loads, so like immediately after the page loads, the actual engagement will show up. Uh, you can choose to have it display after somebody scrolls to a certain section of a page. So quarter, half, three quarters, or all the way to the bottom. Uh, or you can choose to display the engagement uh, when somebody has been idle on a page for a certain amount of time. From there, you're going to choose the style. So for this demo, I'm going to just set up a light box. You can choose you know, your header, your body, your button, and your click-through URL. After you design what the actual engagement is going to say, you can choose what happens when somebody clicks on that engagement. Uh, in this case, it's where they're going to get taken if they click on that link. You can also choose what the engagement actually looks like. 
uh, whether that's the light or the dark style. So this is the really cool part with Engage. Since it's built on top of Analyze, we know a lot of information about how this person got to your website. So we can use all that information to actually uh, kind of customize or target this engagement. So we can choose to display Engage to specific segments of your traffic. So based off of the channel they came from, direct, organic, social, paid, email, or referral. Uh, you can also target a specific refer. So if you got featured on you know, a news publication or you wanna target people coming in from social media, you could say only show up for people that come in from Twitter, let's say. Or you could target a specific campaign source. Uh, any of the email campaigns or search campaigns you're already running, you can kind of augment that with Engage and put up an engagement just for people that come in from a particular UTM source. From there, you can choose what page it's actually gonna go on on your site. So you can show it on every page or on specific pages if you only want to show it on you know, the pricing page or if you only want to have it you know, on your home page. Just depends on what the goal of this engagement is. <clears throat> From there you can choose how frequently somebody's going to see the engagement. You know, Once per visit, uh, once ever, or you can choose to display it until the visitor interacts with it. Really just depends on what the goal of that engagement is. And finally, you can choose to A-B test this engagement or not. Uh, A-B testing it will display the engagement for half of the traffic that you've chosen, and it won't display it for the other half, meaning that it'll give you the true uh, statistical influence that this engagement campaign has on whether somebody's gonna convert or not. Uh, you can rename this campaign, choose something custom, and then choose to uh, either run this campaign continuously or schedule when this campaign is going to run if you want to run it for you know two weeks four weeks a few days just depends on what you want to do so when this is all said and done this engagement is actually going to show up you know if we were to run this on our home page uh, this is what this might look like so you can see here that if this engagement showed up it would display this box saying hey don't leave yet if you sign up now you can receive 15 percent off your first month's bill uh, you know get started and so you can kind of test what it's going to look like on your site. But the general idea is based off of all the triggers you've selected, based off of how you want to, you know, who this wants to go to and how you want to display it on your site, this is what that engagement will look like. All right, folks, thanks for checking out this demo of Kissmetrics. If you have any questions, please contact us at sales at kissmetrics.com or you can fill out our contact form at kissmetrics.com slash contact. Thank you very much.